Okay, I lied. So I said that the next video here was going to be um, the plasti gauging of the main bearing, I mean, of the rod bearings. Um, but as I was getting ready here to just barely ever so much inch these things down, and we're talking ever so much, not even clicking, we're just, just starting. I'm not even working the pattern yet. Um, so as I was doing that, I remembered something else that I did that is important. Um, if you notice, this thing looks fairly clean, and if you just pulled it out of the store, it probably is. But I went ahead and I took some brake cleaner, and I brake cleaned and wiped down the outside of this. Why, you say? Well, because I don't want any crap getting on my hands or coming off the bottle and falling in Likewise, I cleaned this guy, took a rag, some compressed air, whatever you have there, I cleaned this guy up so that nothing's dropping off into the motor. It is retarded, but surgical cleanliness is, is what we're shooting for here. With that, there was another thing that I didn't mention. So when I was cleaning or putting these um, bearings in or you know, working with the caps or anything like that, not only was I using my gloves here, but I was also not touching anything else other than things that had been cleaned already. So I would only touch a main bearing cap that was cleaned with my gloves and was going in a clean spot already. When I'm cleaning things, I use that set of gloves or hand, you know, if I'm washing my hands or whatever to go through and clean with that clean everything up in one shot. And then when you're assembling, you don't have to touch dirty stuff. So I don't grab for another tool um, without being aware that I've just grabbed something dirty because I really don't want some chunk of crap starting off in one of my bearings. It's going to be plenty of that in the future because crap happens. But this is just a helpful tip. I know it's kind of insane, but Hopefully it saves somebody some tiny little shred of dirt going in their motor that causes them um, havoc or something awful to happen to it. So just little things. Be cognizant. Be aware of what you're grabbing. Is that thing clean already? Do you need to wash your hands again? Throw on a new set of gloves. Gloves are cheap compared to redoing all of this. So just a little helpful tip that I remembered as I was getting ready to torque these things guy down for the final time. All right, well, we'll see on the next set, which will be, unless I come up with some other crazy tip, uh, the rod journals.